Hi folks, welcome to the Sabre Zone. This is the video on this channel if you're new that always discusses what you had to say, how you said it, and we talk about it. What a great life it is, eh? There you go. So let's get on it and do some Sabres talk here. And here's the clip. And a shout out goes to Black LJS. And this is a good one, I like this one. Because Adam stuck to his guns in the Ristol Jack Sam trades. It could have been very, very 07 bad. He could have accelerated the rebuild two to three years just by avoiding the crater with those trades. That is true. If we would have just rushed those trades and not got back, because guys, you know what we got back for Ristol. What we, sent out, what we sent away with Ristol, Jack, and Sam, what we sent away and what we got back, we won. Overall, just everything all together, we won. Right now, I'll say that. I mean, we got all the first rounders you've seen this year. That's from the trades, guys. This is, two of those guys are from the trades, right? And we got like Devin Levi. I mean, there's, there's a lot that came back. Krabs and Tuck and... And uh, I'm, I, again, I made a video on this before we did these trades and, I, and I, was, I wanted him to stick with his guns, I remember. Yeah, stick with your guns. People want these players. So don't pretend, NHL, that you don't want these players. We're not that stupid. People think because we're the Sabres and we're losing and we're a decade and we're a mess of, of uh, a decade of losing uh, that we're just going to be desperate and say, okay, okay, give us a second rounder for Jack Eichel, like anything. You know, thank goodness he stuck to his guns and he did not rush the process because it could have hurt us for sure. And like you said, accelerated. It could have accelerated. The, 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 the rebuild guys could have took longer if we would have got desperate is basically what he said in there. And if we would have got desperate, that would be the legacy that Adams would have. And Adams seems to be a guy of principle from what I can tell. And he just said, no, uh, I'm waiting. You've seen him, he'd smile and say, yeah, it has to make sense for the Buffalo Sabres for us to make this deal. And he just stuck with it, no matter what. And eventually a deal got done. A deal did get done. There was a lot of teams really trying to get Jack Eichel at the end because they could see that other teams were closing in on getting the deal done. Calgary was close. And as we know, um, Vegas was close, right? So these were the guys that were the finalists at the end. A lot of teams kind of dropped out. The Rangers had no cap space anyway. And what we're not going to take like Strom and uh, Georgiev, you know, for Jack Eichel. Come on. So we weren't going to do that. And um, yeah, we got back very good return all together. The whole thing, you know. And if there's any like, I guess any like um, clause you want to put saying, well, you can't do the Taylor Hall clause. People say, yeah, he got ripped off for Taylor Hall. You guys forget, we got Taylor Hall for free. We signed him as a free agent, remember? We didn't trade nothing to get Taylor Hall. So we got Taylor Hall and we got back. Yeah, we didn't get a first rounder. Okay, we got a second rounder. And, uh, you know, and, uh, and I know like, well, it's not the biggest return we wanted to get, you know, but, you know, we still got another second rounder in the deal. And uh, it's not... Uh, I'm not sure if that was the one that was for uh, J.J. Paterka, the one that we traded out. I'd have to check that again, but it's, I forget. You know, I get mixed up. Look, overall, we did really good with these deals. We did really good. As good as we could hope, guys. Jack Eichel, if he would have been healthy, but the deal would have been a bit sweeter. Just a bit, though. Not much. Not much. We held, we held our guns like he was, like he was healthy. You know, we got back healthy Jack Eichel return. We really did. You know, overall, we did. We didn't do poorly in that deal at all. And, you know, Vegas fans will say, we won the deal. Well, you're supposed to have. You got the better player. You're supposed to have won the deal. So we'll see, you know. I'll tell you what, if Jack Eichel hurts his neck this year, if he does, I'm going to be raising my eyebrow over at, uh, at his medical procedure that he did because that could be career ending if he does. You know, so I don't hope that in anybody. I hope he has a healthy career because I want to see what we traded in the long run. I want to see that. I want to see where does this go to, you know, eventually. 
you know, does Eichel bring them to a Stanley Cup over there? I don't think so because the team's getting old on, over there. They're not very deep in the pipeline and, um, and um, you know, but they can still build, right, within the pipeline if they're smart and, and stop like just trying to win it right away because they're not near a cup right now, that team. And I think the owner's kind of delusional and thinks they are, and they're not. Not now, you know? It's kind of like how Calgary fans also think they're going to be better this year without Goudreau and Kachuk. It's just not happening. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. Uh, they might have saved themselves, though, as a playoff team with those deals, you know? It's a big fail for Calgary if Kadri and Huberto don't get them into the playoffs. A big fail. A big monster fail. I think they will. I think, like, looking just at that off topic for a sec, you know, I think Calgary's going to get in. Are they going to be as good, though? No. No. But could they go deeper in the playoffs? There we never know, right? You never know. Different chemistry. You're in the playoffs. Don't have to be as good is the point, too. You don't have to be as good. They get in the playoffs. They get on a run. All of a sudden, everything that trade looks amazing. All of a sudden. Yeah, I had some Calgary fans come in. I had to, like, ban them because they just, you know. Calgary fans are some of the most touchy fans in the NHL. So, you know, guys, living out here in Canada, I can tell you. They're, of all the Canadian markets, they are the most, their feelings get hurt the easiest. Of all, all the, not all their fans, but the majority, they get hurt the easiest. They, they take offense the easiest. I don't know what it is. Maybe Calgary people aren't happy living in Calgary or something, really. I don't know. But, I, you know, Montreal, it's a little different than the thinking of Calgary fans. You know, the, the Habs fans are just a little more eased back. They're not as offended, kind of. So, yes, I mean, if we're going to go this route now, you know, let me pull out the exact wording. Yeah, he, he, he might have accelerated the rebuild two to three years just by avoiding the crater, the cliff, with those trades. Because it could have been, guys, we could have, felt, we could have fallen off a cliff with those trades. We could have, and we didn't. We didn't. We have a good general manager, guys. Sit, sit and enjoy it, really. It's been too damn long. We haven't had a good general manager. We had, we had Murray. We had Botterill. We had some real guys I never want to see again in a, in a in Buffalo organization in any way, shape, or form. The, this is a good general manager that he's patient and he's willing to uh, take criticism on himself to better the franchise and just stick to his guns. He just didn't care. So... To me, that's a sign of a good leader. He's one of the leaders in our, in our, uh, our pipeline of management. You know, like he really, he's done a hell of a job. And you know why? I don't want to discount the job that, uh, that our scouting staff has done and, uh, and, uh, and our coaching staff. Has just everything seems to be clicking since we made these trades. Really clicking. Yeah, I know it was before, but now we're seeing evidence. You know what I mean? My thoughts, guys, because I'm a Sabres fan just like you, and I want to see this team thrive again. I want to see this team get in again. I want to see, I want to see this team win a cup, guys. Stanley Cup is the only way to go in this life. I mean, if we're, we're either going to win a Stanley Cup or we're not. And if, after, if I've been waiting since, like, 1973, I've been waiting about 50 years, right? I'm coming up on 50 years. <laughs> 50 years. And... Uh, I still haven't given up the hope. I never will. So I, I, you know, I would say don't give up the hope, young fans. Sometimes, and I believe this, sometimes the worst, worst, worst thing can happen before the best thing in your life. And if the Sabres are anywhere near to the worst, 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 because it, it's ended, I, I believe we peaked out at that 18-game losing streak. We, it was 18, right, guys? I always get mixed up. It's 18, I believe. What a nightmare. Once we peaked out, now we have that forever. When we go into a best of seven series, we have that to feed off of as an angry bunch. You know, the ones that were part of it saying, I don't want to ever be lose again. <laughs> I don't want to lose again. We thank goodness we made the proper moves in these deals because it has set the tone. Like, uh, like he said here, like uh, Black LGS said, He stuck to his guns. 
on those trades. Really, on all three. I, I, I would love, you know, closing this, guys, I would love to have been a fly in a wall to hear him in the conversations on the phone. And then he got off and he's talking probably with whoever, right? He's talking with, could be Granado. Who knows who he's talking to right after? Could have been Pagula and Pagula's laughing after that he got, he actually swung it. Who knows? Who knows what it was? I would love to have seen those, but they'll never show us in the Sabres embedded, something like that. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. I caught up my notes today. I'm happy about that. And I got to get back. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try to uh, slap together. I'm going to start slapping together a video for the new channel, which I put a link down below. Hope to, hope you guys check it out. See you there.